Good day everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing annular velocity calculations. Now it's very important that we know um, how to do this because it's very important that you understand the regime of fluid flow in your annulus during drilling operations. We always want the fluid in annulus to be either turbulent or in plug flow. We never want it to be laminar because at that point your cuttings might begin to drop out of um, out of the out of the mud so it's very very important that we know what regime or rather we understand the 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 the, the recommended foot per minute um the, the magnitude of foot per minute in the annulus at every time that we are drilling so jumping right straight into the calculations annular velocity is simply defined as um to calculate annular velocity you either use the first equation equation one 24.5 times Q, but the difference is note that this particular Q is in gallons per minute divided by the whole size squared minus the pipe size squared. So that's the whole ID, whole ID, this is the whole ID, and this is the pipe OD. So once you do that, you have your annular velocity. The difference here is that this is going to be in barrels per minute. Now I use this one a lot. I use this one a lot because pretty much your 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 flow rate is usually most times given in in gallons per minute. So this is usually the difference. If you use the same the right numbers, use barrels per minute here, you get the same value. If you use gallons per minute here, you get the same value because this constant here takes care of whatever you're doing. So um, for vertical wells. We should note for vertical wells you always want it to be between 100 and 150 foot per minute this is because it actually takes a while before it drops down to bottom your cuttings drops down to bottom if you are not circulating at a very high rate but for wells by the time you start moving from 30 degrees to horizontal wells you see that the the the, the recommended um annular velocity kind of increases this is because with inclination with once you have high inclination inclination in the well bore the propensity for cuttings to drop to the lower side is high. And that's pretty much what you call the boycott effect. You don't want that to happen when you're drilling, especially when you're not flowing as high as you should. You want to flow as high as 150 to 220 um, foot per minute so that you can clean the well properly. In the next video, I'll be showing quick examples, comparing the two equations, showing you that we will, that we will be getting the same numbers. So see you in the next video. What we'll be doing the calculations. Bye for now.